warm welcome to MindBuster. What to look for in a dressage saddle? First and foremost, the dressage saddle should allow the horse the full freedom of movement. The rider should be enabled to absorb all three paces of the horse's body. The saddle in its design should support the rider in this aim. Here we see a general purpose dressage saddle made by Andrew Sankey Saddlery. The seat size determines how deep the rider actually sits in the saddle and the knee rolls determine how much support the rider gets in the aim to sit. The design of the saddle should support the rider but should never restrict the rider in absorbing the movement of the horse. There should be approximately four fingers width below the rider's knee, as seen here. There should be about a hand's width space behind the rider's bum, as seen here. This saddle here is a 15-year-old Grand Gilbert Passier saddle as a 17-inch. It's a perfect fit for me as it allows enough space behind my bum and it also allows the forefinger width below my knee. Now you see a Passier Grand Gilbert Extra. It's a brand new saddle in a 17 and a half inch fit. 17 and a half inch fit is a little bit too big for me as a rider. I will still be able to absorb the horse's movement fully, but I will feel less support from the saddle in the aim to stay on the horse. A saddle on the other hand, which is too small, will perch me on the horse and will not allow me to actually go with the horse's movement. It will make it very, very difficult to stay with the horse's movement. Here you see clearly that there's too much space below the rider's knee as well as behind the rider's bum. Now you see a Passier Corona 2, 17 and a half inch as well. And the main difference to the previously shown saddle is basically that the knee roll is much more dominant. And again, as with the previously shown saddle, it is slightly too big for me as a rider. There's too much space behind the rider's bum and there's too much space below the rider's knee. For your horse. The saddle should be covering a space from behind the horse's shoulder to before the horse's last rib. Usually we take three measurements here. The panels of the saddle should be fitting nicely and smoothly along the horse's spine on either side. Looking from the front, you should be able to see daylight shining through the saddle. This saddle has not been girthed up. To check a saddle properly, you should girth it up and you should get on it and make sure that there's still enough clearance for the horse's visor. For further questions, contact us. We are happy to help.